Today begins the aero process of installing stuff on the BRZ. By the way, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you are not new here, thanks for coming back. So today we're gonna to be doing the Carbon GR wing. A lot of you are asking for links for this. I'm really sorry I don't have a link for this. Uh, this I had to custom make and it took two months to get in and I'm pretty sure there are other people who are already making these now and like that have them in. So if you're looking for one, I'd recommend looking on I'm gonna say it, I'd recommend looking on eBay or anybody else who has like buy groups for Instagram stuff, but this took me forever to get in. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. Because this wing was a wing that came from a third party manufacturer, that means it did not come with any of the templates for where you were supposed to drill this out, nor did it come with any of the attachment points on the underneath side of it. So all you're gonna have to do is either secure it with some 3M tape or figure out a way to drill it yourself. I'm gonna figure out a way to both mount 3M tape to this and also measure out certain points to drill into the, the trunk of the car. Like the GR wing, if you actually order a GR wing from Toyota, it'll come with separate holes and it'll make sense with the little template that they send. They send like this whole thing that you just lay out all over the trunk. It's like a piece of paper and it would tell you exactly where to mark out each hole to drill. But we don't have that luxury because I wanted carbon fiber and uh, this is what I got. So I'm assuming they expected you to do this and just apply a lot of this, which is like double-sided 3M tape. And you could um, apply that and just have it stick and be fine, but I don't really want to not drill it because I don't really trust 3M tape that much. Like I just, the thought of taping something to my car and having it stay on while I'm on the highway or just something like that just kind of freaks me out. So we're gonna be both attaching it with the 3M tape, the double-sided tape, and this does say it's rated for 30 pounds. I don't know, but um, I don't trust it either way. So we're gonna figure out a way to both mount it to the trunk and also like measure up and drill out certain spots. I'll probably just do two because I feel like two is plenty to just at least hold it to the car and I'll use the tape to um, secure it to the trunk. I don't know, it's gonna be a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, just in case you get one of these and not the GR1, which the GR1, like I said, is way more simple, but this is, I don't know, it's gonna be worth it, but uh, it's a lot more complicated. Before we attach the wing though, we gotta do two things. Number one, you gotta go down there and hit that subscribe button because it really helps out my channel. Also because we are gonna be installing other aero parts in these next couple of days, there's three other things in here. So you're definitely gonna wanna hit that notification bell too so that you don't miss out on any of that. Number two, um, if you look at my car, it's not exactly clean. Like, okay, you can't really see that, but trust me, there's a little bit of dust on it. And before you do anything, any sort of cutting, mounting anything with adhesive on it, you have to clean this or else it won't stick and it, you could risk losing that on the highway, which is another reason why I want to drill it because I'm terrified of that. And of course, I have my number one detailing company brands always with me, strapped 24 seven with superior image stuff. My ceramic details brand. Ah, damn it, I gave it to And we have some of this. I know the bottle is wrong on this. I had the bottle break on me. This is actually a spray wax. It's not degreaser, but we're gonna put some of that on and we're gonna also clean and wax the wing. So it looks all nice and shiny when it goes on the car. So yeah, we're gonna be cleaning the wing and then we're gonna go and wipe off the car a little bit just so it's clean and nothing slides off. And that is uh, where we're gonna start this wing install. Look at all that. All that nasty would have been stuck to your wing. Then it would have flown off and then you would have lost a super cheap carbon fiber wing on the highway and it just would have been a disaster. But thank God we did that. But here's my plan. What I have here is just test strips of all this stuff down on a few parts of like the major contact points of the wing. And now what I'm gonna do is when I put this wing on, I'm gonna measure in between the top of this line here, the bottom of this line here, and the gap in between the spoiler. Gap here, the top here, in between here, and the top. And once I've measured the spots and I have the wing sitting exactly how I want it, I'm gonna put a piece of tape over the wing that stretches from here to here. So I'm gonna cut it so that I'll know where to line up the tape. That way, after we have all of this, cause I'm gonna use this whole roll. This is 25 feet or 30, how many feet is this? I don't know, an amount of feet. This is an amount of tape. I'm gonna use all of it though. And I'm going to take the wing off and then I'm gonna put all the tape on. We'll be able to put the wing back exactly where I had it before and exactly where it should go. And I doubt it's gonna fit as nice as like a GR wing would. Um, cause obviously it's not OEM Toyota stuff. So I'm assuming it's not gonna be as good, but like it looks okay. I also noticed that the gap, if you look at a GR wing, we actually can go look at a GR wing right now. What am I doing? So here's Jesse's GR86 and his GR wing. There's a very minimal gap right there in between the wing and the trunk. Also minimal gap between here, barely any gap over here, but it all lines up because it's factory. I don't know if we're gonna be able to close that gap, but we're gonna give it our best shot.
I've just finished all of the cutting and measuring. I feel like I did a pretty good job. On the sides you see here, I measured a half an inch in between the edge of the wing and the gap in between the trunk here, and an eighth of an inch in between the, the edge of the wing here and the gap in the trunk here. Another half an inch from the bottom of the wing to right there. I did the exact same thing over here. In my opinion, that also looks pretty centered too. I know the tape over it kind of doesn't help. Same thing here, slightly less than a half an inch, slightly less than a half an inch, slightly less than a half an inch and then it naturally tapers down right here. I know that it's centered based on this line here and then matched up the tape with the wing here. And I'm just gonna slide a razor blade underneath all of these just so that I can take the wing off and finish putting on the adhesive. This stuff is actually a lot stronger than you'd think it is. Like I had to pull up that wing and it was actually super hard. Like I could not pull up the wing with just the tape and my hands, like it hurt a lot, so. It's literally that difficult to remove and all I had was a little piece here, a little piece here, and a tiny piece on each edge. And it's still that hard to take off. Okay, so I finished all the taping up. Some of this might look pretty ghetto, like when you see these wrinkles here, that's actually, that's not a wrinkle in the adhesive thing underneath, just the little like red plastic stuff that uh, would cover the adhesive was coming up right there and same over here because I I kind of worked it around the corner and like I said I ran out of tapes don't judge me I'm going to mount the wing but before you actually mount the wing you have to pull off a little bit of a tab that's gonna sit on the outside of the wing so that you can place the wing down and get the fitment right and then pull the rest of the adhesive off from the outside and then press the rest of the wing down so it fits right. This little tab is also where I'm thinking about drilling through, but to be honest, the way that this adhesive stuff held the wing on, I'm actually not even that worried about it anymore. So if we can't drill this, I am I might just be cool with it because as long as we can get the fitment exactly how we want it and everything lined up with the blue tape with the rest of this here, I'm really not too worried about it. I really hope I did all this right. I measured like eight times the button and the camera in the middle of the Subaru badge. And the wing is marked out too with a little piece of tape. So I don't know. I, I feel like I did pretty good. I feel like I did this right. But we're going to find out. So here we go. So we are all absolutely perfectly lined up with where the tape met and where the line met. Same exact right here, same exact there, and it was the exact same right there. I triple checked and measured the gaps between here, between here, between here, and there on both sides, and both of them were perfect. Carbon fiber on a white car is so freaking good looking. I'm gonna finish peeling off the rest of this tape Woo! Oh my god, this is gonna look so good. I honestly don't even think I'm gonna drill it. I, I don't think I'm gonna drill it. I, I think that's a little unnecessary. I literally put all my weight on the wing and it didn't even creak. Didn't move at all, so I actually think I'm just gonna leave it with just the adhesive, which is not something I would have thought I would have ever trusted at all, because I'm like super scared of that stuff and I don't wanna see this thing flying off on the highway and then getting run over by a car behind me. But there we go. Oh shoot, let me see if I can go get Jesse and see if he likes the wing. I'm sure he will, but jeez, look at this thing. Jeez. Now I just need to clean it up. It's covered in fingerprints. And open the trunk and shake it by the wing. All right. Like I literally was pulling on it. It wouldn't creak like. It's a different look for sure. Now I'm super happy with the way it came out. Cause like even from like that angle down, I need to clean it. Cause it's like, it's it's covered in fingerprints. So I don't know. I like, I don't think I'm gonna drill that. Like it's. The other it's, thing I'd watch is um, once it starts being left out of the sun for the adhesive underneath. Oh, what happens with that? I mean, nothing should, but um, I would mean? definitely like make sure that it feels this secure. All the time? All the, like, it's not gonna be all the time. It's either gonna yeah. do it or it's not. Yeah, oh so, God. I mean, it's sitting in the oh, shop, boy. it's probably 85 degrees. But if it's like in a parking lot all day, yeah, you just I, wanna keep an eye on it. I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect. Like the gap, like I looked at yours and this and mine, and even like with the wing yeah, in the no, same spots you, here. You can feel like some, like. You can see imperfections you, yeah. in it. It's, it's cheap, but it looks nice in pictures. It's better than it did. Boom, roasted. <laughs> yeah, there's like no, there was no like curve to the back end at all. It's a big, flat, ugly, boring no, thing. Yeah, now you see clear side markers. Yeah, yeah, I know. Everybody's telling me I need to clear side markers. It's a good accent too. I'm getting called out everywhere for these things to the bright orange.
thing is so sick. Literally makes the car look a thousand times better because the back end of this used to be completely flat and boring. And now that you add the spoiler in there, it literally just makes the entire car pop. Like it even helps out the wheels and stuff too. It's so good looking and it just like lines up with all the black here, all the accents. So worth the wait. Like look at the back end of that now. That literally looks like a different car. I think this has to be one of my favorite angles. So like this is what I see when I look at the car. That has to be my favorite angle. Like that literally looks like a wide body right there the way that that is. And kind of a wider shot of just the profile of the car now. So good. And the weave looks a lot better in person, like like in the daylight, rather than just putting a shop light underneath it. Already thinking about PPFing it so it stays protected from the sun and just other things that might happen to it out here, especially if it falls off because I didn't drill it. But just have to say that I am 110% happy with how this came out. I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, the install. It looks so freaking good. Like 11 out of 10 install would 110% recommend you get one. I don't have a link, like I said, but uh, you can find them. You can probably find them on eBay now. Like everybody was saying, is this the one from eBay? And it's not, but it, I looked and it looks just like the one from eBay because I posted it on my Instagram story the other day, which if you're not following the Instagram, go ahead and follow that. It's on the screen right now. If you watch my story, it's like I usually give away a a lot of the stuff that you see in the videos before the videos it sounds kind of dumb but i don't directly give it away like i don't i don't spoil it like i don't i don't know i tease i tease stuff on there so at least you know it's coming but yeah just go follow the instagram anyways i take really nice pictures at least i like to think i take really nice pictures so with that i will see you guys very shortly in the next video do not forget to stay driven and always pursue happiness no matter what we really learned how that can affect you in the last video if you saw the last video and if you didn't then watch it it's up on the screen right now but yeah, I will see you guys very shortly in the next video. See you later.